Welcome to Imha. Uh, this is a sukkah that I created. Created uh, was commissioned by Zelda Stern in memory of her beloved husband Stanley uh, to create this sukkah. Uh, what was very important for me was that the sukkah would be used year-round. I love hearing the noise of the cars because we are outside on the seventh floor terrace, and um, Sukkot is my favorite Jewish holiday. To me, it's the Jewish Thanksgiving. Um, there's no door, as you can see, and it's very important to let in the stranger. It's constructed out of 13 panels. Each panel um, has its own narrative. And if you know my work well, this is the first time that I've done an art piece that is totally smooth. Usually it's very textured. And the reason is I want your memories to be the texture. Um, in a sukkah, you have something called ushpizen that you welcome in people that are no longer alive or great scholars or educators. And I wanted you to be able, every person, to invite their own memories and their own scholars and their own teachers. So let's come inside for a minute. Um, it's also very important to me that it's wheelchair accessible. All the outdoor pieces I do, all the any pieces I do are always wheelchair accessible. That is also the reason for the size of the door that uh, somebody who's handicapped can walk in. I work very often with uh, people who are visually impaired and that is why um, I let people touch this surface. So let me tell you, so this is one panel. So each panel um, consists of a series of interlocking blocks of different heights. And there's always one horizontal and the rest are vertical. And verticality in art history means portraiture. So in my mind, when you welcome the Ushpizen, sometimes it's a place that you went to as a child or even last year that you think of somewhere in the country that brings you peace and you want that in your sukkah, then you have one of those, you have um, one, let me show you one right here, here's a good landscape one. Um, there always is gonna be one landscape and the rest are different size verticals that are, should, could be a very tall single person, it can be a family picture, um, so it's all different types of verticality. Um, what's very important for a sukkah is that it's open to the sky and you can see um, heaven and stars. That's one of the uh, important things of a sukkah. And I love bamboo and I love um, leaves from trees of the fall. So there's a lot of room for seeing the sky, but you also feel you're in a temporary structure because there's no ceiling. And then I decided it should have um, holes in the, or, or little windows in the walls and I wanted it to be at every height so that children can look out of it so if you bring your dog inside your dog can see outside and doesn't feel like he or she is confined so I believe any good piece of art looks to you different in different times of day also depending on your mood but I wanted this white is a perfect color for this because it picks up all the shadows and lights in a very simple way and as the day changes and night comes in it becomes a totally different space and to me that's magical and part of sukkah to me is magical that you feel like you're outside you're um you know you have the elements here if it rains it comes into the space uh, you're protected from the wind because of the walls but you realize always how life is very fragile and we have to enjoy every minute and 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 not take anything for granted. Um, it's connected to the framework of the building. So it goes right into the guts of the building. So it's uh, connected in a way that unless there's some terrible, terrible storm that New York has never had, it is really solid and it's connected on all four sides. So I'm standing here in front of the first Imha uh, sukkah that I've created and I hope that there'll be many of these around the world. Um, the smallest size I would ever do is one that would house 10 people, but it's all about the size of the panels and this one is comprised of 13 panels, but I would also do uh, panels that are 26 panels. I just want it, the numbers are very important to me but in different communities, they might want larger sukkah, uh, sukkahs, and uh, 
It's exciting to have the first one done. I now have all the blueprints and every way how to construct it. And the most important thing is that any one, any sukkah that I build has to be used all year round, whether it's in a meditative space or a yoga space or in a boardroom, but it has to be used all year round. I don't want this to be an eight day installation. It's an installation for sukkah for eight days and then for 11 months and three weeks, it's used for something else.